I'm Scott Richardson, machinery trainer here in Poole. My job involves uh, taking crew members, uh, bringing them here to Poole and uh, training them up in mechanics as best as we possibly can. Um, so we could have butchers, bakers, candlestick makers coming in here um, and we basically try to help them uh, to administer um, the plan maintenance that they do on the coast. Engines can sometimes go wrong whilst we're at sea, so basically we give the mechanics the training um, so they don't panic in those situations and they can get the boat back safely and get it running again. Every class of lifeboat has a different engine um, and now we're going to look at some of those engines. Okay, so this is the MTU engine that we have inside our seven class lifeboats. This is replacing the CAT engines. Uh, this is going to prolong the life of the seven class. Uh, this is a 2,000 horsepower engine but derated down to 1,600 horsepower. Reason being is that even with 70% worth of power inside it, uh, it's still running 25 knots, which is what we require for our fleet. On a personal note, this is one of my favourite engines as well. Okay, now we're going to look at the Scania engine. This engine we have in our Shannon class lifeboat, two engines again, 650 horsepower. Uh, we also run this engine inside our SLARS, so our Shannon launch and recovery system, but that engine is derated to 450 horsepower. This engine isn't running props, this engine is running our jets. So if we look over to here, we have our jets. This is now shooting water out the back as our propulsion system. It has a bucket which then channels the water in different directions, giving us steering capabilities. Here we have a 50 horsepower Mariner engine which sits on our D-Class. This is our particular one from our training fleet. Over here we have the tiller arm, which is also our throttle and how we steer the, uh, the engine. Down at the back here we have our prop, which is on our gearbox, which then gives us drive through the water. 